I'm still How old talking. your mother? Oh, she she died. I'm sorry. You <laughs> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> this upcoming movie that goes by the title Cocaine Bear is interesting to say the least, and stars Ray Liotta and Carrie Russell about an oddball group of cops, criminals, tourists, and teens converge in a Georgia forest where a 500-pound black bear goes on a murderous rampage after unintentionally ingesting cocaine. Now this film sounds like one of those movies where you had to completely think outside the box. Releasing on February 24th of this year, some people are more than eager to see what this movie will entail, and today we have some exclusive behind-the-scenes shots and interviews from this film, so let's go ahead and get right into it. There you go. There you go, girl. There you go. But real quick, some trivia for you. Elizabeth Banks is the director of this film, but what is her most known role in the industry? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around till the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. Yeah, the side of a tree. I know. And we wanted to take a second to remember Ray Liotta, who passed away last year due to natural causes. He had numerous roles, including in Shades of Blue, Something Wild, and Field of Dreams in 1989. His role in this film we're talking about today is Dentwood, and according to sources, is in its pre-production phase as of now. Take your own cue, Ray. Looks great. Let's let that smoke go down a little. All right, anytime. The director, Elizabeth Banks, talks about what this film is about and the curveball of it all. This film was based on a real story. I honestly didn't see that coming and thought this was all made up, but it kind of shocked me when I was doing a little bit of research on this film. They found a black bear in the Chattahoochee Forest on Blood Mountain. Those are all real places. And the bear had consumed what they thought was about 70 pounds of cocaine. We also get to see her talk about Ray as well. Ray Liotta is one of the best actors I've ever worked with. I'd worked with him on a small movie, The Details, many years ago. He came to set, he blew my mind. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. And action. In these behind-the-scenes moments, we can see what she does best direct and even get glimpses of the bear. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Jesse Tyler Ferguson, who plays Peter, tells us about his character. I play a character named Peter, who's a wildlife uh, protection representative. <laughs> and what was interesting about this character is he said he was able to do all of his own stunts for this film, which many people in the industry try to do, but sometimes it doesn't always work out. But in a film like this, some of the stunts weren't all that intense. He's also going to be able to do some stunts. Um, I thought I was just going to do a few stunts. Um, I finished all my work with that yesterday, and I'm very proud to say I did all my own stunts. And I'm very sore because of it. And interestingly enough, she revealed that there was a big possibility that she was going to be involved in the making of Thor Ragnarok, but was initially never really excited about being involved in big franchises. I can't do someone else's vision, she says. I really want to bring my sensibility to things. She 
She believes a call was made about the possibility of Banks pitching her take on Ragnarok to Marvel, but no one called her back, she says. Taika Waititi got the job, rightfully so. Now based on what we see from the trailer, the film delivers what the title implies, stuff falling from a plane answering the question of where it came from and how it got in the forest in the first place, which would presumably be a good place to hide it. But recently, Elizabeth Banks has come out to reveal that this could be a risky move for her. A bear did cocaine. A bear did cocaine, Dad. F this. Seriously? F this entire journey. What the Cocaine Bear trailer showcased was the definition of what Martin Scorsese referred to as true cinema. The fact that Cocaine Bear is based on a true story makes it somewhat of a curiosity. Eddie's in mourning. Plus he quit. Joey's the reason why he quit. But clearly, director Elizabeth Banks has taken liberties with the actual events. Now Banks is admitting that her venture into the drug-induced bear genre is a major risk that could foreseeably end her career as a filmmaker. Cocaine Bear is a ginormous risk, she says. Breaking into a peel of that laughter, this could be a career ender for me. Another cast member talked a little bit about what the story was about and what his thoughts were on it. The script was so unique to me because, uh, I mean, listen to the story. You know, it's, uh, it's definitely a wild ride, a lot of blood, guts, and glory. Look down at the door right back there. There's the door. Elizabeth had to do some extensive research into making this film when she was signed on to direct, including having to look into actual bear attacks. Realism is one of the most important things within any movie or TV show, as you have to make your audience believe it. There have also been some reviews coming from critics giving extensive details on where the real life story came from. The movie Cocaine Bear is loosely based on the death of Pablo Escobar, a black bear that lived in the mountains of the Chattahoochee National Forest in North Georgia in the USA. Now the part of the packages being dropped from the plane was actually true. Of course, this is where the bear found them, believing it was food. So of course the bear found a few packages of the $40 million worth that were dropped. Okay, very good. Cut Pablo the bear ran amok in the forest but did not go on a killing spree as it is advertised in the movie, but was later found and the autopsy revealed that he overdosed. A pretty interesting story when we hear the truth behind it all, so hopefully this film delivers. It's about a bear that does cocaine. It's pretty uh, straightforward. So I liked it a lot and I really liked the character. You know, I'm always looking for that. To play with the bear's behaviors because no one's ever seen a bear that's high in cocaine. That was sort of like the bear's superpower, if you will. You know, the magic that we could literally sprinkle onto our bear. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, Elizabeth Banks is most known for her role as Effie Trinket in the Hunger Games film series from 2012 to 2015 and in Pitch Perfect from 2012 to 2017. Kingpin uh, put all this gold on me got me my truck you know it's, it's it's our life dude this is why this is why we met so what do you guys think about all these moments and do you think this is something you would be interested in watching let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below make sure you subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this that's it for today though we'll see you all next time with a brand new video bye guys
such good luck in nature. 